when a Marine or a sailor is injured. They don't care what uniform you're wearing. They don't care if they look up and they see MARPATs, Type 3s, or coveralls. They care about if they're going to live, if they're going to see their family again. The patient is at the center of every training that we do because the patient doesn't care if that medical provider is uncomfortable. A fire break is unique to this part of the country. You see them everywhere on Camp Pendleton. It is made by causing some kind of trauma to the natural area. This trauma to the land brings forth a greater purpose. A man-made fire break is created to stop or slow the progression of wildfires, one of the most uncontrollable forces of our human existence. We all participate in Operation Firebreak today because we are all a part of the collective fire break within our Navy Marine Corps team. So we are all prepared when the time comes and to be the physical barrier between life and death if it comes to it. Do you have anything inside? See anything? Hey buddy, still with me? And because a fire break exists, precious cities, towns, homes, and people are protected. Test me, test me. I'm going to pick these cows up. Doing, and the double amp first. Does that make sense? We're we'll going second. We're going to the hotel second. Does that make sense? Right. Participating today is a weapons platoon from 2nd Battalion, 1st Marines. Our ERSS roll to light maneuver team that is deploying within the next week and uh, Fleet Surgical Team One, 5. Two, three, pick him up. Follow him. Um, in a real life scenario, we hope that we don't have casualties, but a ground combat element would potentially take casualties. And that corpsman or that CLS Marine would perform TCCC and transport to their BAS or a Roll 1 entity. We literally have a surgical team waiting for us to get in there. In Let's this go. case for today, they are going to our Roll 2 Light Maneuver team, who is currently training to do austere medicine in this environment. This gentleman here um, has a gunshot wound to the left leg. Um, any other major injuries? Any ETA on the, on the blood? Yeah. They're able to do uh, damage control surgery, damage control resuscitation, and blood resuscitation as well. So in this scenario of fire break today, the casualties are transported via our MV-22 simulator to a fleet surgical team who is on board our ship simulator to continue to stabilize that patient and potentially hold them. Is there a doc inside I can give it to? There is. All right. And the fire break does not know the difference between MARPATs, Type 3s, or coveralls. It's a united front of teams that train together, integrate together, and learn the capabilities of our teammates. Today we have Expeditionary Medicine, Marine Corps Ground Combat Element, and Fleet Side Assets training together because this is what the future fight will demand of us. The professionals of 2nd Battalion 1st Marines and many others in this room already know what that fight feels like and have come here today knowing how important this mission is and to be a part of our nation's fire break against all enemies. There's a saying by our leadership that says, get real, get better. And part of training is getting real about what your true capability is. And by acknowledging our deficits, by acknowledging even what we're good at, we can get better. And that's not just individually, not just within a role two light maneuver, even within a role one, Corman and his CLS Marines, get real about your capability and then get better.
five seven seven nine or eight. 